Welcome to Framework Fortune and the Framework Fortune Crypto Daily Channels. I'm your host Ben and we're going to be talking about an update that happened with OVR. So if you've been following the project OVR and the OVR token, you know that you were able to treasure hunt. Well, there is a new update that we're going to dive into. So when you log in to OVR, you go to the same way you get to the treasure hunt and click on that. And then it will get your GPS location and connect you to the OVR network. Now, used to there was not a little diamond at the bottom. So you click on that diamond and this is the new update. Before you could only reach five treasures hunted and that was your max limit. And they didn't have any other options. Well now they have a subscribe for 10 treasures for one day that costs 8 OVR tokens. Or subscribe 10 times 7 which is 10 treasures per day for 7 days which cost 50 OVR tokens. So now you have the ability to hunt for more OVR token treasure chests. They still have not updated it yet where you can pull these into a separate wallet so you can cash them out or do whatever you want to with it. Keep that in mind but stay updated with the OVR blog because that will be coming soon as we are seeing that they are progressing further and further into the project. We're looking at OVR on CoinMarketCap. This is not a token that you can buy on Coinbase or any of the regular platforms in America right now. This one is going to be a little bit harder to find. You may have to use Uniswap or one of the decentralized exchanges to try to buy or sell this token at the moment. But it's currently around $1.06. It did get all the way up to $3. So if you got lucky like me and you hit a treasure chest with 100 tokens in it, you actually had a chance of about $300 that you made during that. Now, of course, the prices come back down and you can't sell yet, so you're still stuck holding. But looking at it overall, it is on a nice uptrend. It did come down some from that initial high, but still starting to build some higher low support in this $8, $10 area. So this is such a newer project. I think there's a lot of potential for it, especially with this treasure hunting that they're continuing to build. It kind of almost feels like gambling in casinos because now you have to pay to go and hunt the treasure chest. Now it's not a very expensive cost, but I went out and hunted 10 treasure chests for those 8 coins. And I did actually make more than I put in on those 8 coins. But majority of those treasure chests that I found had 0.2 OVR, 0.5 or 1 or 2 OVR. I did find 3 out of the 10. That was a 5, a 8, and a 16. So I was able to double the amount of tokens I have off that. But that is just like the casino almost. It's going to get people out hunting for those treasure chests and spending more OVR tokens to hunt those treasure chests. Now, of course, the treasure hunting is only one small part of the overall OVR network. But I think it is an important part because from an investor's standpoint, the house always wins, the casino always wins. And the way that this treasure hunting is set up it is that type of gambling casino experience in a way. So I could see this being very profitable in the future as OVR continues to grow. But like I said, this is a very young project. All my analysis on it is pure speculation at this point because until we actually get the ability to pull these tokens into our own wallets they're kind of worthless just sitting there so hopefully we see that update very soon if there's any tokens or coins that i'm not currently covering on this channel leave them in the comments below and if you have some information on ovr that i don't leave that in the comments as well remember we're at war with the youtube algorithm so smash them in as a little like button i'm your host ben stay safe out there till next time.